Hey guys, welcome to Skill Link. You might have seen spray guns. They use compressed air for their operation, which demands an air compressor. Air compressors are quite common everywhere. We can find them easily in gas stations, industries, workshops, and so on. They are used in a variety of applications from being used for inflating tires to being used in several power tools like drills. In this video, we are going to discuss reciprocating air compressors. We will be talking about the significance, types of compressors and working of different types of reciprocating air compressors. Long back, industries and shops used a central source from where the power is transmitted via belts, chains and wheels to other machines and tools. These complex mechanical systems are now replaced by air compressor systems. An air compressor is an energy-consuming device that is used to compress air. It is operated by a prime mover like a motor and it stores the compressed air in a tank. Compressed air serves as a better medium for storing and transmitting energy. It is preferred over other systems because it is flexible, free from electric hazards, and the tools can be made lightweight and handy. Based on the type of working, air compressors can be classified into two types. They are positive displacement compressors and dynamic displacement compressors. Positive displacement compressors intake the air inside a chamber and compress it by reducing the chamber volume. As you can see here, the positive movement of the piston or the positive pressure created compresses the air, whereas dynamic displacement compressors compress air by imparting energy due to the rotation of the component. This provides continuous output with variable flow rate. Positive displacement compressors can be further classified into two types. They are reciprocating compressors and rotary compressors. Today, we will exclusively discuss the reciprocating air compressors. A reciprocating air compressor consists of a piston that reciprocates inside the cylinder for compressing the air. The compressor looks similar to a conventional internal combustion engine. The piston is connected to a crank via a connecting rod and two valves that look like metal flaps are located at the top of the cylinder. Of the two valves, one located above is called the delivery valve and another valve located underneath is called the suction valve. When the motor drives the crankshaft, it makes the piston reciprocate inside the cylinder. As the piston moves down, it creates the vacuum inside the cylinder. This opens the suction valve and the air from the atmosphere gets into the cylinder. Now, when the piston moves up, it compresses the air. The increased pressure developed inside the cylinder opens the delivery valve and the compressed air is sent to the storage tank. This simple type of reciprocating compressor is known as single acting compressor. Here, the air enters the compressor through the filter and the storage tank is provided with an unloader valve which releases the excess pressure. The compression of air results in high temperature and so, to cool down the system, water jackets or fins are provided to the compressor. The lubrication of the piston is done by oil splash method and the piston is provided with a seal to avoid oil entering the chamber. That's all about the single acting reciprocating compressor. But this type of compressor provides output only during the upward movement of the piston. For obtaining continuous output, double acting reciprocating compressors are used. In this type, the suction and delivery valves are provided at either side of the cylinder. When the piston moves down, air is sucked in at the upper side of the piston and compressed at the lower side of the piston. Similarly, as the piston moves up, the air gets compressed at the top side and sucked from the atmosphere at the bottom side. This compressor compresses air continuously and there will be an output for each stroke of the piston. So far, we've discussed single and double acting compressors where the air is compressed only once and they are single-stage compressors. But for obtaining compressed air of high pressure, two-stage and multi-stage air compressors are used. Two-stage compressor uses two cylinders of different sizes, both provided with individual suction and delivery valves. The delivery valve of the larger cylinder is connected to the suction valve of the smaller cylinder via an intercooler. Hence, the air is compressed in the large cylinder to a lower pressure and it is passed through the intercooler which cools down the compressed air. Then, the air is further compressed to a higher pressure in the smaller cylinder. This system compresses air to a higher pressure than the single-stage compressor. For obtaining high-pressure compressed air, multi-stage compressors are also used based on the requirements. With this, we have seen the different types of reciprocating air compressors. So, that's it guys. We'll meet up again in the next video. Until then, bye!